Hey there, and thank you for joining me on the Retro Game Couch. I love playing on my Sega Game Gear, and the only real downside this unit has is that it eats through six AA batteries like it's nothing, and that is mainly because it uses a fluorescent tube as its backlight. So in this video we are going to replace that fluorescent light with an LED backlight. So let's go! Before we really start with this video, please note that this mod does not upgrade the screen. There are other more expensive mods that do this, but I just wanted to replace the fluorescent tube for an LED backlight. The backlight I used is ordered from handheldlegend.com and only costs $10. And here she is, my blue Game Gear. This is the North American model or sports edition, which came out in 1994. Let's open the unit up. First remove any batteries and any game you might have had inserted. The game gear is held together by six Phillips head screws and one security screw. Unplug the cable going to the power board and the two cables going to the sound board. Remove all the screws which are holding the main board and screen in place. You can now lift out the main board. The fluorescent tube is holding place by two wires, so let's desolder them. You can also choose to simply cut the wires. You are going to need to remove these components. This last resistor is on the other side of the tube as well and also needs to be removed. After that you need to bridge the two connections at R29. You can use a small piece of wire or like me just use a big blob of solder. Next you need to separate the screen from the mounting bracket. I found the best method was to try and cut away the glue with a very thin knife but be very careful and do not rush this procedure. After a while you will be able to lift the screen away from the mounting bracket. Place the backlight onto the bracket like this and use a marker to outline where the backlight sits. You need to cut the bracket to fit the backlight. And this is what you should end up with. Getting everything fitted together is a bit tedious to be really honest. I found the best way was to reattach the reflective panel of the old fluorescent tube and the two pieces of the mounting bracket. Now slide the backlight behind the screen.
Make sure the buttons are in place. Then try mounting the mainboard back into the case, starting with the brightness knob. Now put the screws back into the board. It's time to solder the new backlight onto the mainboard. The black wire goes here. The backlight kit comes with a resistor which goes between the board and the red wire and you should solder that into place here. Let's test to see if this worked. Put some batteries in and the game and power the unit on. Hmm, this doesn't look right. As you can see my screen looks very yellow. I initially thought it had something to do with the contrast maybe, but uh, nope. I took the unit apart and as you can see the LEDs in my backlight are actually yellow. Since I ordered this backlight from Handheld Legends about 8 months ago, I contacted them and they let me know that this was a known problem with an older batch of their backlights. Now, sadly, Handheld Legend did not want to send me a free replacement because the order was placed eight months ago. And I find this to be a bit unfair since they admitted that it was a faulty batch. So, in the end, we ended up agreeing that they would send me a replacement backlight for free if I ordered something new from their webshop. So I ordered a new lens for my Game Gear so I could move on with the project. So here are the lens and the new backlights. I also have one for my Lynx. Let's remove the faulty backlight. and install the new one. Yes, success. This is a lot better than the previous backlight. To replace the lens you obviously first need to remove the old one. A screwdriver and some moderate force should do the trick. To remove the glue residue I use some turpentine and an old cloth. Then it's just a matter of sticking on the new lens. 
And I know the original sports edition had a black lens, but I just wanted to give my Game Gear a personal touch. It's best to leave the protective plastic on the new lens until you're done working on your game gear, unlike what I just did. So let's put all the screws back in, insert some batteries and pop in a game. It's working. And as you can see, there is some light bleeding from the top where the LEDs are placed. But for me, that is something I can totally live with. It's not really noticeable when I'm playing a game. So I'm done with the mod and I'm very happy with the end result. I finally have an LED backlight instead of the fluorescent tube. And uh, yeah, it, it's looking really good and it works a lot longer on the same six uh, AA batteries. It's not a, an easy mod, it's not a drop-in replacement, it will involve some cutting as, you, as you've seen, but uh, if you are willing to put in the effort, then it's very doable, so uh, very nice. So for now, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time on the Retro Game Couch.